Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we're $31 trillion in debt, because of stuff like this. It's making the American people poorer. It's destabilizing our economy. It's making it so that the average Utah family now finds life unaffordable, having to shell out an additional $1,000 a month every single month for their basic monthly necessities. This is wrong. It's got to stop, but it will not stop until members of Congress, including U.S. senators elected as Republicans, committed to some semblance of fiscal conservatism, refuse to vote for bills that they have not read, that they do not understand, that are cobbled together and that impoverish the American people. They do a lot of good, but most of that good is for special interests and for the popularity of the politicians who vote for these things, who will get a big bump for the moment when they get praised by the public and by the media and by the special interests for passing this thing. It needs to stop.